sometimes you'll want to know the fraction of a particular number. So this will cover fractions of a number. So for example, you might have 36 pounds and you want to find two thirds of that number, two thirds of this. What is two thirds of 36? Now perhaps the best way to do it is simply multiply by the top side of the fraction and divide by the bottom side. Because that is, after all, what a fraction is. When you hear one third, you are simply finding a third of something, dividing by three. So two thirds is one third and then two of them. So you're simply dividing by three and timesing by two. So in this case, we have 36 pounds times 2 in dark brown, which equals 72, and then divide by 3. Divide by 3. By 3. And that will equal, if I spread over here, uh, 1024. 24 pounds equals 24 pounds. So what we did when we wanted to find two-thirds of 36 pounds, we timesed by the top number, 2, and divided by the bottom number, the denominator, 3. So we found 24 pounds. And that applies to any fraction. So you have, let's just say, in blue, we have 60 pounds. And we want to find, or the question is, um, give me three quarters of 60 pounds. The way to do it is simply to multiply by 3, multiply by 3, and then divide by 4. Let's extend over here, divide by 4. So 60 pounds times 3 equals 180 pounds, 180, and then divide by 4, divide by 4 equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, and then 5 equals 45 pounds. So you see, the simplest way is to follow the procedure of multiplying by the top number and dividing by the bottom number. Now if you have a calculator, or you want to do it a different way, you could work out what the fraction is as a decimal, so 3 over 4 equals 0 0.75, and then multiply 60 by 0 0.75. So the alternative would be 0 0.75, which is 3 quarters, times 60. Now that is another way of doing it, but just to work you through getting a fraction of a number, you would get a number, so let's do one last example, get any number, so let's have, um, let's, let's try a bit more, a, a tougher one. So we have 19 pounds, and the person wants to know what is four fifths, four fifths of 19 pounds. Now in this case we have to follow the procedure of multiplying by the top number and dividing by the bottom number because that is simply what a fraction is. It's a fraction of the bottom number so you're dividing by that number and then how many times of that fraction is the top number. So we're getting four fifths. So 19 times 4 19 times 4 equals, now this is going to test my maths, so it's 80 minus 4, so that's 76 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. And you notice my method was actually just to multiply 20 by 4, and then minus 1, 1, 4, 1 lot of 4, which I find is a simpler way of doing it. So 20 times 4 is 80, and then minus 1, 4 is 76, to get what, 19 times 4. Now, divide by 5, that's a little tougher. So we've got 76 pounds, divide by 5, divide by 5, 
equals. So we got 10, 15 is 75. Um, so we've got one pound left over, so that's 15 pounds and 20 pence, because one pound divided by five is 20 pence. So that, so four fifths of 19 pounds is 15 pounds and 20 pence. And that is how you get a fraction of a number.